So what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. And I know in a couple of previous videos I ended up saying that we wouldn't do any more cars anymore. And I'm still sticking to not flipping any more cars anymore just because uh, the profit margins on those take too long and it takes too long to sell and it sits for too long. But in this case, we ended up finding a small pickup truck that I believe is very worth our time and our hassles since trucks really do sell a lot better than cars do for some reason. I guess a lot of people just like trucks because they can haul some stuff in the back of them and they can do a little more with them. Small little four cylinder Nissan Frontier. So, I mean, I already own one of those. I just sold my one. I'm So, we're basically just buying another one, my exact one. This is this one's just going to need a little bit more uh, TLC, more work, some mechanical work done to it. It's got a couple issues with the clutch. And just, you know, a couple things that have been neglected over it for the years. So, we're going to head that way right now and go pick it up and make an offer on it. If it all goes through, then we're going to take it and get to work on it. So, stay tuned and let's get right to it. Alrighty guys, so we're on our way to pick up another vehicle and I know in the past video we signed up saying that we wouldn't do vehicles much anymore or cars specifically, but this is actually a truck. It's a very good deal, very good price and I know that trucks tend to sell a lot better than cars do for some reason and we're going to take a gamble on this. We're on our way right now out of town to go pick up a truck. It's going to need some work obviously like all our, like our past vehicle did. So I mean honestly, we'll just see what happens with this. And what do you think? Well, if we can get it for the right price, I think it'll be a good deal because you just sold a pickup just like it. Um, this is a it's a 2001 uh, Nissan Frontier, right? Yep. And he had a 2000 that he sold, 2600, and we're planning on buying this for 800. So if she accepts that, we get the title in our hands. You know, hopefully it's all just cosmetic work we have to do. But uh, yeah, we'll, I mean we haven't even seen it yet, but we'll go look at it if that's all it needs. And, Hopefully it's an easy flip. You don't get these often, but and sometimes. Our main purpose is just to double our money on this. So that's obviously our main purpose with everything that we do. So stay tuned and let's get right to it. Alrighty guys, so in the end it was a done deal. We have come to terms with the price and we ended up paying only $700 for that truck. So we're gonna be totally invested when the truck is fully done, a total of $1,500. And we are looking to sell between $2,600 and $3,000 when it's all said and done. So about $1,000, a little over $1,000 profits when it's all said and done. And we are certain that it will sell pretty quickly since I had the, I had the exact same one, just a year older, and it sold within the next day. So I know we're gonna get our money back and then some on this one. It's gonna be a little bit of work. It's gonna be a little more than what we expect, but you know, it's gonna need some mechanic work. My buddy's working on it right now at his shop, so we don't have it at the moment. It'll be here in a couple days, so hopefully he gets all the mechanic work done to it. It's gonna need a valve cover gasket, oil chain, spark plugs, clutch slave cylinder, since the clutch just drops all the way down to the ground and it stays down. So just little mechanic work that's gonna need that we won't do since it just takes too much time and we just don't have the time for it. We're so busy with all the other side stuff. So this is our side hustle to our side hustle. So stay tuned when we get it back and we're gonna get right to work on it. So alrighty guys, we finally got the truck back from my buddy's shop. He finally got it all mechanically working as best as he could, make it worth his time. So we finally got it back and it's gonna need a lot of cleaning. And as you guys can see, it is filthy. It is completely dirty. It's gonna need a complete detail. We're gonna be pulling out these seats right here and pressure washing them with our new pressure washer. Gonna be vacuuming the whole carpet and uh, probably shampooing our carpet and cleaning the whole interior of the truck because it is absolutely disgusting. It stinks in here. It's pretty dirty. Next thing we're gonna be also painting these 
plastic trims as you guys can see they're all faded the headlights are all completely fogged up we're going to completely be cleaning them up as well from behind more plastics to replace we're probably going to take off this back bumper right here and completely repainting it respraying it. it just completely looks all rusted and faded this trim piece right here completely painted as well spray painted black again clean up the bed a little bit it's got a bunch of garbage it's got a toolbox clean that toolbox out get all these dumb stickers off that they put on this gonna do a little touch of paint up here as well a little rust spots for the most part it's a good truck and the engine bay as you guys can see it is pretty gunked up full of oil and all kinds of grease and grime and stuff we have a complete degreaser we're gonna clean it up with it's gonna need absolutely everything as far as cleaning goes we got it mechanically working as best as we could so we're gonna get right to work on it and so we got a lot of work ahead of us we're gonna get right to it today get as much of it done as possible while we have the nice weather because it's starting to get a little colder and get right to it so let's get to it Alrighty guys, we have the truck completely taken apart right now. We took out the front bumper, we took out the trim pieces on all four sides, on the other side as well included. We're going to be spraying them all, getting them all cleaned up. And I also took out all the seats. I'm in the process right now of vacuuming it all. It's going to need, as you guys can tell, either a pressure wash or get them shampooed, whatever's easier, whatever's the more most uh, cost efficient for us. So we're getting it done right now. We're going to be next pulling off this back bumper again this trim piece right here cleaned up and painted as well all these pieces have been taken out been vacuuming it for a little while it's gotten a little bit better but as you guys can see it's pretty stained up pretty badly so i was going to just probably pull this carpet on either pressure washer to shampoo it whatever's easier so it's coming along so let's get back to it So alrighty guys, that is going to be a wrap for this video. If you guys enjoyed that, feel free to hit the thumbs up, like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it as uh, we continue to progress this journey and we diversify ourselves more and more. And you know, I'm enjoying this process. Hope you guys stay tuned in the next video. We'll be finishing up the truck, getting it all cleaned up as much as we can and getting it all cosmetically up to what we need it to be and getting it out the door and get it sold as soon as possible. Leave your comments down below. I'd surely appreciate any uh, advice I could get from any of you guys if you guys have any advice. Uh, also, I know that you guys have been asking what we ended up selling our car for. We ended up selling our Ford Focus in the previous videos that you guys have seen for a total of $2,200. We bought the car for $600. We invested another $800 into it. So we were a total all in of $1,400. We ended up selling the car for a total of $2,200. So a total profit of $800 and it really isn't that much money when you think about all the work that we did to it, making multiple trips to the junkyard and which is why we're trying to stay away from cars as much as possible. So we'll see how this truck goes, you know, hopefully it sells a little bit faster and a little bit sooner than the car did. The car sat for a couple of weeks so finally somebody ended up coming up and taking it for that and we took that offer. So a total profit of $800 after it was all said and done. We usually make more than that on furniture, which is why we stick with it so much. It's so much easier, less work, less money invested, and always the profits. So obviously with cars, a little more risk, a little more work. But in the end, we still made some profit out of it. So I'm glad for that. And on to the next thing. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Stay safe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.